Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Get Back. Yay! Yay! We're here in the neighborhood. We have Lewis Rogers, we have Jessica Rogers, we have Daniel Rogers, and we have Miad Rogers. <laughs> you already know we're all here. Listen, we all came out of the darkness collectively together. All right, we were in there Wednesday because we had to celebrate something it's very good. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in New Jersey, Matt, yes, Life, East yes. Rutherford. <laughs> but here we are today to celebrate uh, a big thing today, Jessica. Very big. It's, 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 it's almost monumental the way people are talking about it. it. Of course it's monumental. Yeah? Yeah, you know. I, I you know, 40-year-old quarterbacks, you know. It's rare. No, <laughs> Hall no, no, of Famer quarterbacks. But can, can, I get to, can I get to it? Okay. 40-year-old quarterbacks, you don't really see them getting this much shine and love at this age, right? You usually see them getting, like, retire- you're old. Not many get You're to this not, age. Exactly. So the fact that this man is 40 years old and still playing at a very high level and can still put out great season after great season after great season after great season, some may say with a team that was not fully there, right? So the fact that he can do this night in, night out and get this publicity the way that he has. Shout out to Aaron Rodgers, the newest New York champion. Yes. Welcome. Welcome, King. Okay, 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 that's that's a bit much. That's a king. What is that? Something wrong with building him up? What's wrong? Calling him king is crazy. That's like calling somebody savior. Stop. Well, well, he's about to save the he's about to save the franchise. He, he, is, so. he, he is about to save the franchise. No, but, but it's good to hear you. So I wasn't expecting that. Can I? Y yo, I'm extending hospitality to someone you trash on the regular. I he's different than you. I don't trash his play. I trash his antics. Not antics, but what he does just off the field. I mean, Jessica. It's strange. Jessica. What? Je After that press conference. You gotta admit. He's an insane man. <laughs> okay? It, 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 Which press conference? The one he just had yesterday. Yeah. You think he's insane? From what he was talking about? What was he talking about? Yes. I watched the whole press conference. What was wrong? The amount of times he came out of the darkness, into the darkness, and out of the darkness. Well, it's a okay, look, it's a I, marker it, it, of why of where everything happened. Just, I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm saying it like this: like he's going to be the best character in New York right now. Oh, yeah. absolutely! Every press conference he's gonna have he's is going, going to be pure gold. Millions of views. He's an so insane he fits right man. in. He, he fits. fits right in. In. He's gonna be fantastic. And, you, and you see the he way is. he was. He was trying. He was rising up those reporters. He's like, "Oh, hey, Doug, how you doing?" Yeah, I, he I'm, was. Yeah, he, he was kind. I'm pretty he's, sure he because he was listening. He wanted them to know I'm plugged in. I'm going to remember your name. Yo, I'm pretty sure he gave one of them a wink. He was like, "I, I remember you, Doug. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing?" Some of these people, he's. I'm sure he's already met and known yeah. about. But I, um, it's gonna be interesting to watch and see. I'm so. Happy and excited, finally. Yeah, you know, I honestly I couldn't take him seriously. Whenever he said "stepped out of the darkness," <laughs> I audibly stopped the video, paused it, put my phone away, and laughed hysterically. I I literally, there's no. He's gonna way be saying, "Listen," and what's what's best about that is that he's gonna get other people to do this. Because here's the thing. Here's <laughs> he's, the thing. He's about to make uh, Zach Wilson his little like. His little henchman. His little, his little lap, side. His kick, little yeah. lap dog. He's gonna, you know, fetch me my coffee, boy. Yes, no, thank you very much. No, but thank I think you. he's thank gonna you. he's gonna educate him. He's gonna expose him to a lot. But Zach is a Mormon, so he may not go for all of that type of all stuff. All that 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 hoopty doopty. It's not hoopty doopty. Oh, I take psychedelics. Would you, would you, uh, you, you want to be a nerd right now? Wanna yeah. Be a nerd right now. Let's be a nerd. He's gonna be the Batman to with Robin. Oh. oh. <laughs> so that when Batman retires, Robin takes over the oh. mantle. Listen, it's just a breath of fresh air. We have hope. And it's a good time. And he it seems like he wants to be here. Um, so we just have to, you know, hold on to that. The yeah. Jet fans have to hold on to yeah, that. You know. I can't speak for the rest of the This is our best shot, Jessica. This no, is, it this is. is our best shot of it fifteen is. years. This was is. this is your best shot to like Mark Sanchez and now like and even saying Mark Sanchez is the same sentence that Aaron Rodgers is clinically. And I insane. watched uh that AFC championship or the division championship with uh, Mark Sanchez. My brother had a big party for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, you know, we were hopeful then. Yeah. It didn't pan out. I but mean, you guys had That a was the last you know. time, like, people were, like, revved up for yeah. the Jets. You know, you guys had a great defense. You guys had decent offense, decent quarterback play, and that's all you really needed. 
But now you guys have a great defense. And then now you have a great quarterback. So if history can repeat itself, and you guys went that far with Mark Sanchez, who sucks, <laughs> the, you know... It, it could potentially be really if good. If Aaron Rodgers doesn't run to somebody's ass, we're fine. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what yeah. does that mean? What? Run into if somebody's Aaron ass. Aaron Rodgers doesn't run into they're, they're, somebody's they're, okay. ass. You want you want to take the buff fumble or should I? Oh oh because okay I'll take it. You take the buff so fumble? so there's a play. So Mark Sanchez gets the handoff right, and then he's trying to you know create some offense with his legs right, as 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 some quarterbacks can do right. So. <laughs> So um, as he picks up the ball, he gets it, and he looks up. Boom! He gets a face full of cake right in his face and then fumbles the ball. Now, now Mia, I want you to remember this is a 2006 Mia. AFC Championship Mia. game. If the Jets win this game, they go to the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, we missed it. If Mark Sanchez doesn't run into that guy's ass... <laughs> We are probably winning that game and going to the Super Bowl. Absolutely. On Tuesday, you said you were four years old when that happened? Yeah. I was a full adult. Uh, when that, I can't believe that. That is crazy. Uh, Man, <laughs> he ran into so much cake, fam. It was crazy. And he fumbled the ball. The pitch picked it up, and, he, and they scored. Well, yep. R- Rodgers is a much cleaner player. He's a bit more, you know. Yeah. He's got 18 years under his belt. That's not going to happen. Yeah, Rodgers is going to side-eye the cake and be like, I'm not going <laughs> to hit you today. Throw a ball away. There we go. That's what he's going to do. He's got the darkness in the Dude. Dude, I, I can just picture an edit from Bleacher Report if, if like, y'all go to, like, if y'all win the Super Bowl of, like, the Lombardi stepping out of the darkness. <laughs> and, like, I could just imagine that. So, like, the Lombardi, he Look, takes it out of the darkness. Look, we have to keep talking it into existence. We have to keep manifesting. We have to we keep... We got two known universes. We're the only one with known life with uh, existence, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. This, we got to put it into our universe. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes this is do. all we have left. Yeah. But do you, did you see? So Jessica was watching the Pat McAfee show before we went on, mm-hmm. and um, Pat McAfee, as he does the Aaron Rodgers propaganda machine, um, as he keeps pushing. <laughs> you know, out, I love McAfee, but I can't disagree with that statement. Son, they were. But so what? He's he's supporting his boy. Son, they were gassing him up. They the saw him throw a five yard out to Alan Lazard. They're like MVP, MVP. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God! Well, he's, they're he's not wrong. Green MVP. Well, they're not wrong for saying MVP because he already is an MVP. He's won it, so that they're just calling no, 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 no. proper they're title. Say, they're saying he's gonna win it this year. That's what that means. Oh, he's gonna be. If they, MVP. if the Jets have an excellent season, yeah, he will win it. If he literally uplifts the whole team and they make it to the Super Bowl, they win this. Even if they, nah, I don't want to. Jets. It, it depends on their season. It depends on the regular season. If if, if they get ten wins, no. If he, they get thirteen wins, if they are problem. first, in... and they can. That's tough. Uh, it's it's gonna it's a tough uh, division. Without, uh, well, our schedule is tough. It's a tough it's a tough division. <clears throat> and we guys, always have a terrible schedule. You know, they screw you, us. You got but but y'all they are really in, do. Y'all are in one of the best divisions in football. Exactly. So it's like it's gonna be tough every single year. Okay, so even if we get ten wins, but he still plays great. He would definitely maybe he doesn't have to he'll be, be recognized considera- by the he, he'll be by the league, but on the team he's definitely the MVP. Oh, he has to have. 40 touchdowns this year in order to get it. That's why. Because you know Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts and all these other guys are going to come out that would work and then play out of their mind. I think Trevor Lawrence could be a sneaky MVP pick. Sneaky. Sneaky this year. I'm sneaky. W- I like Trevor Lawrence. I'm waiting for his career to blossom. Dude. I will root for Trevor Lawrence. Yes, Mia. Side note, Jalen Hurts is so fine. If you ever think Ooh. about it, you know, uh, he is cute. Shoot, he shoot definitely shot is at. cute. Shoot your shot. Shoot your please, shoot your shot. Please, shot. Please, Mia, you know, Mia, look, cute. Mia, look in the camera right now. Say, hey, Jalen. Hi, Jalen. <laughs> 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 no, he's definitely a good looking no, no, no. brother for sure. He's, he's so definitely fine. probably the And m- now he's paid. Oh, so, hello, paid. He's handsome, tall. He's got money. He got he's money. got skill. He's you know, got ambition. What's what's not to like about this guy? He's a, he's a humble man. What doesn't make him bachelor worthy? From humble beginnings. Is he married? Does he have a girlfriend? I think he has a girlfriend. How do y'all know that? You did bro, snooping? We was all Instagram bro, during, during the Super Bowl. Everybody was looking. Everybody was looking. They're like, this man is so fine. Does he have a girl? Does he have a girl? He In has your a girl. household? In your household, everybody was there. Oh, on Twitter. Oh, I wasn't. Yeah, on, you don't I go on Twitter. On, I wasn't so. on Twitter. I, I just watched the game because I liked the sport. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm not really, I'm not really looking at the dude's facial expressions, being like, "Wow, he has." But a nice you're also smile. not into that, so you wouldn't be looking like but, that. But here's the thing: Jalen Hurts is a very attractive man. He is. 
I said it. He's a very attractive, good-looking man. But me and Daniel, so is Rogers. We can't compete. We, we can't compete. We, can't compete. we nobody can compete with Jalen Hurts. Who's no. compete? We uh, we're regular guys. We still love you though. We still love you. Don't worry. She said you that with are... reluctancy. See that? No, I didn't. Look, throw up the hearts, please. All right, you said that with reluctance. Lewis, you know I got a big heart for you. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but you know who else is uh, whose heart is big or pockets are big? Jalen Hurts. He has, he has very big pockets. He Pocket has enough fillers, to share you know, for everybody. All right. do. Got enough to go around. I just hope that his career ends up being worthy of that contract. A lot of people end up falling off sooner than we want to admit. So hopefully he still has a long career ahead of him. But he's also he's also a running he's a running QB. Like he, he runs a lot. So like <laughs> If he if he starts taking some hits, it could be a little rough for him. But, but that's why it's good he got paid now. Oh yeah. So if God forbid the worst does happen or a bad thing happens, he's covered. He's got at, the burn. At worst, he this is the worst case scenario for Jalen Hurts. He retires in the next five years. But guess what? You still got 179 million guaranteed. So you already got that. And you've been to the Super Bowl. You already You'll been to the Super Bowl. Probably go to another one. You're one of the top Eagles QBs of all time already, mm -hmm. probably. With Nick Foles, oh, stop. <laughs> Donovan McNabb, Rand Randall Cunningham, Mike Vick, you know what I'm saying? Already top five. Easy, right? Oh, yeah. Gotta be. With he, that smile, he, he got terrible be quarterbacks. Holy cow. Yeah, the, yeah they do. Wow. I didn't yeah. realize how bad they were. Yeah, they had bad. What, what was the quarterback under Chip Kelly? Ooh. Oh, what was his name? I see his face. Oh. I, I know they had Josh McCown for right. a while. Right. Oh. I'm thinking of Jay Cutter. Jay Cutler? Cutler. No, 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 no. That was the Bears. Oh, they had Nick Foles. Yeah, Nick Foles. No, they had somebody else before Nick Foles. Oh, it wasn't Carson no. Wentz. Before Carson Wentz. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I let's let's nerd out right now on, on, on trash I forgot he played for the Eagles. You forgot Nick Foles? No, Carson Wentz. Did Carson Wentz? Yeah. Yeah, they drafted him. He drafted him. He was supposed I to be totally the savior. forgot about that. He was that. number two overall. Oh, man. That one season. Where is he now? Oh, Carolina. Oh, the XFL. No. <laughs> Stop. He's gone. He'll he, be going there next year if he doesn't do good this he's year. He's gonna he's gonna go to the XFL, let's be honest. Like Okay, 2020, 2016, Carson Wentz. You are never gonna get the twenty fifteen starting quarterback. Give us no a hit. Shot. What's his Give name? us a hint. What's the first letter of his name? S. S. Of his last name or his first name? First name and last name. First first name S, uh last name B. No shot. <laughs> Oh, Say Barkley? No, girl. <laughs> I tried, y'all. I tried. Listen, it's not my Is this sport. person still in the league? No. No. Oh, oh. no. Okay. Oh, Sam Bradford. No shot you got that. No shot. Because I was thinking, because I remember, like, Sam Bradford was, like, a high overall pick. And, like, he was, like, he got, I think he got, like, signed or traded to the Eagles. One of them. It went Michael Vick, Sam Bradford. Oh, oh wow. Wins. You want to hear something very funny? It has nothing to do with football, but kind of something to do with football. So there's a smoke shop that I go to. And, you know, the clerk looks just like Michael Vick. I haven't told him that yet. But every time I'm in there, I'm like, this guy looks like Michael Vick. Is he Michael Vick? No. Why don't you ask him? Why don't you ask him? Be like, hey, did you ever go to jail for that one thing? <laughs> stop, stop. We're did not. No, ever... I like Michael Vick. I was a big fan when he was playing. I used to have his jersey. Yeah, me too. You know, you know? I used to have a bunch of jerseys. I don't know where they went. Like my, like growing up, my brother would get me jerseys for like Christmas and my birthday. So I had a couple of Jet jerseys. I had Roethlisberger. I had um, Rogers. Vick. Rogers. No, I did not have Rogers. Well, are you gonna get a Rogers? Jersey? Hell yeah! You got, you got, you have to. Hell right? yes! Number eight. I've I mean, already begged. Please, let's get tickets. <laughs> let's get tickets to this year. We have to. We have to. My brother refused to go last year because he didn't want to invest into a losing team. So, but this year, <laughs> well, at the end of the day, he made the right decision. He made the right decision. Yeah, because the last time we went was pre-pandemic. So, and the year before that, they didn't have. I mean, the year before last year, they didn't have fans in the stands. Mm -hmm. Dude. So we haven't been back to a game yet. So. You gotta give. You gotta go check on the people who <coughs> bought uh, Zach Wilson jerseys, because no, uh, hold on to it because hugs, you don't bro. know what he can turn into. He, he could turn it. into Robin. He could, he's gonna grow up to be bad, like like Dick Grayson did. Oh, oh, no. But we have to address something because so I watched the show on Tuesday, uh -huh. and our dear colleague, cohort, classmate, friend Samuel. Why? Why you have Sam. to call him by his full name? Because that's how this. That's first how off, serious his Sammy, comments. First that's off, how it merits this. Okay. First off, it's Sammy Duke, Sammy Cheeks. Sammy it's Cheeks. Samuel. Get it, get it no, because right. it's a serious thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, Samuel. So Samuel, <laughs> you said that. Uh, Put the camera on, Jess. Put the camera on. Rogers needs to be motivated again, so we should draft another QB 
So he can play like he played in Green Bay and had those two MVP seasons. No and hell no. We don't need to draft another QB. Daniel was absolutely right. We have everything we need. We have everything we need right now to make a Super Bowl run. He already had enough motivation when he came out the darkness and was told retire or move on with someone else. So he basically got kicked out of Green Bay. He wanted to leave Green Bay, but this was the like they shoved him out the door. And then he had to. I know people say, and he claims he wants to play for the Jets, and he it was his intention. But let's be. Was that is that an organization like? As atrocious as the Jets' history has been, is that a place that you really want to play? Like, But we're lucky for us. We built a, Joe Douglas did a great job rebuilding the team, so it did make it attractive. So I think Rodgers has enough motivation to produce another great season. He does not need, at this point, to get, a, to get another quarterback in the draft. Now you're psychologically torturing him. Like, that doesn't need to happen. Samuel, no. Don't ever say that again. No. No. Put the, put the camera and on. And for, for Roethlisberger, <laughs> you guys said something about Roethlisberger about how, you know, he kept on to him. You know, the Steelers kept him because they, he gave him a chance to go to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. In his last few years, he was nothing like Brady in his last few years. Nothing like Aaron in his last few years. They should have moved on from Roethlisberger. They should have, and they didn't, and now they are paying for it. But that's besides the point. Rodgers, our boy, has enough motivation. The New York media is going to give him more motivation because – that love fest yesterday, that's only going to last for so long. Because the first time they think he's going to screw up, he's going to get trashed. And this isn't Green Bay. They're not going to pat him on the shoulder and say, hey, Aaron, tough game. No, he's going to get he's going to go through the mud. So I think our boy's going to be fine. He's got enough fire. He's got a nice big chip on his shoulder. You know, he's a 40-year-old quarterback, and he wants to shut up everyone. Everyone. So no Samuel. We are imploding at the seams. <laughs> <laughs> We're imploding. We already no one's got imploding. We already got we already got some some heat with Brett and Sean. Now we got internal beef. What is this? I don't want to have internal beef with Samuel. What's the temperature? But he can't right say now? crazy things like that. But, and but you know what else, Samuel? You have PTSD. Damn! Whoa! Uh-huh, that he, is a big statement. No, no, no. With 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 the Jets. With not the like Jets. Not clinically like, diagnosed. Not like in his personal life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just with the Jets. He's got Y'all. sports PTSD. Sports PTSD, which we all have. We all. Uh, have some, a lot of some, yeah. Oh, but I have. But Samuel oh. is walking around with the spirit that a lot of Jet fans, and it's a lot of doubt, a lot of hesitation, mm-hmm. a lot of reluctance, and and it's well, uh, well deserved, I guess, well earned because we have not had a beautiful history in the recent decades, but. We have to we have to shut down like the doubts, the insecurities. If you have that, stay home. Don't watch the game. We don't need that type of energy. Get in or get out. Get out the kitchen if it's too hot for you. That's it. Ooh. That's it. Everyone on deck. Everyone. But here's the thing, Jessica. Me, Daniel immediately shut that down. I know. I saw and it. I loved it. I immediately shut that. I'm like, no, you did. I'm like, Sam, yeah. come on, you come did. on. Like that that's the overall like consensus. But Samuel needs to know his comments verbrated throughout. But here's the thing, he just had to he just, but he but you know, we had to let him cook, let him get everything out first, and then we trashed him. <laughs> There's a difference, right? We can't trash him just for the headline. We gotta trash him for the whole statement. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Sports talk radio. Sport we're sports talk radio. We gotta listen to the all the facts. Yeah, no, I listened and I'm just responding. Okay, good. <sighs> Aaron Rodgers, man. This is it's is this like a... Like a moment in history that we will like always remember. Yeah, why not? Do you, you think you'll remember where you guys were when he got drafted finally? Oh no, traded. Traded, you mean? Because drafted. Sorry. Traded. Yeah, yeah. he's <laughs> I was forty years old. I if, had been if out. he got drafted, he's forty years old. What is the college system? Let me tell you. <laughs> but uh, nah. So traded. Where um, were we? I was in that room, back room over there. Yeah, we were all in there together. And Daniel texted me. He was like, oh, "It's happening." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How yeah, how was it, it was, for you, Daniel? You so you just scrolling well, on Instagram, you refresh. Well, no, because I I just finished calling into the Brent and Sean show, right? So mm-hmm. I was just kind of like, I finished on my lunch. I had my espresso. You know how you do. Okay. Right. right. You know you know you know he's Italian. Right? You know I'm Italian, right? He's Italian. Fancy. You know what I'm saying? Chella luna, messa man. So, but no. So then, I forget what I was watching, but 
I get a text my phone from my dad, and it's like he sends me like the screenshot of Ian Rapoport reporting. I turn on ESPN, and ESPN's freaking out right now. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where I saw. I went right on Twitter and right on. We were ESPN. here. Yeah, but Daniel was at home. Yeah, you all right. missed me. I mean, like. Yeah, we missed him. You know what I'm saying? I did. It was right after Brett and Sean's show, too, like a couple mm-hmm. hours afterwards. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Brett was like, why couldn't this happen before our show? Because <laughs> we are content kings, baby. <laughs> We're selfish yeah. with the content. Yeah, no, it's, it's because people have waited for so long, it's going to stay in the memory longer. Oh, yeah. You know, and it was technically three years in the making, him getting out of Green Bay. Worst case scenario for the Jets <laughs> next season. Worst case scenario. Oh, they don't make it to the playoffs. Six and 11. Worst case scenario? Worst case scenario, he gets hurt and Zach Wilson implodes. Oh. oh, no. Or, best case scenario. Aaron, you have made it this far without an injury. In the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah. don't. Yeah. Just please. Don't. But, but, uh, yeah. So the O-line, please. Please. To MetLife Stadium. Please. <laughs> Let's get our turf correct here right now, all right? Oh, Wait, so yeah. is MetLife... A turf or is it grass? It's turf. It's, it's, turf, it's terrible turf. Yeah, it's everybody exactly. hates the MetLife turf because everybody gets hurt in the MetLife turf. So oh. for the love of God, MetLife, let's fix our turf now. You know, um, the people who own, like all the owners of the, all these stadiums, they agree to change it for the soccer players when they come here. For like European soccer players to play, like they agree to change it to grass. What's the money like? So though? why are you changing it for them, but you won't change it for the NFL? That money crazy, bro. That European money, crazy. Well, that and the NFL doesn't want to pay that. True. The owners don't want to pay that. They're, but they're going to change it for these people who don't even live here? The bag is they crazy. They get paid for that. The bag is crazy. They get paid a hundred. They get paid to change dollars. the turf out of the grass. Oh, yeah. Because they... they Goodell have, doesn't care. Goodell's not going to charge you to change it back. change it back? Well, so you no, have, they should like, keep it. If, no, because they have, and then they have to maintain the grass. It's a whole uh, process. The sod there. father, you know. The sod father. Oh, the sod father. Oh, the yo, the grass in the Super Bowl. Oh, the sod father. What, what's what's happening with him? I mean, we need to update. He fell on off the face of the earth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He did. He went to hiding because he grew. They were growing this grass for like two years, curating it for over seven hundred days, Damn. and then everybody was just slipping and sliding like we were at a water park. Like it was not Damn. great. And then everybody was just like, oh, well, I would have had a touchdown if it wasn't for the grass of the Super Bowl. <laughs> you, you, know, all the, you know, all the dads were like, you know, I would have cut that grass a little bit differently. I would have got my lawnmower out. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know. <laughs> they're all, they're all in the, their dad stands. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I would have got my clippers for that one. Yeah, specifically, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Bro, they should have had lawnmower commercials during the Super Bowl. That would have been Well, great. next year they yep. probably will. The progressive commercial, not the progressive, well, the, what's his name? The guy who does the um, I just want to say the Super Bowl commercials used to be really yeah. good. They used to be very funny. They used it, to be memorable. I know yeah. one of those and now long they're things. Trash. It's like, it's like a feed your lawn, feed it. Is that some like Scottish oh the guy? Scottish yeah yeah that guy yeah so, yeah some redhead yeah he's a good guy cool guy <laughs> cool guy but I think I think Aaron Rodgers on the Jets. I think I think personally you guys are going to have a great season. I think you guys are going to start out. A little We're bit. all going to a game, right? The don't they? The I'll don't let they. you know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to let you know. I'm not, but I'll be watching. You have to let me know for. I'll be watching. Going no yet? I'll be I'm watching. Like, right. You said a football game. A or? football game. We get nosebleeds because I can't see anything. How do those from there. go? You gotta tell me. Well, the thing is, <laughs> we need to go early. So, the last <laughs> game we went to was in December. The Jets were playing Miami, and we had like. I don't want to call them nosebleeds. They were like a level down from the nosebleeds, yo. Okay. They're good seats. Freezing. So for so like I had to go spend forty dollars on the jet blanket, and mm-hmm. I had to spend that because all everything else was sold out. Because the week before, they uh, Jersey had a big snowstorm, mm-hmm. and they played during that weekend, so everything was sold out. The gloves, the hats, all they had were these forty dollar blankets. These thin forty. It did the job, mm-hmm. but I did go to a game in October. Mm-hmm. And the weather is nice there. True. So we have to go. I definitely prefer to go to a game any time before December. Because our Novembers are actually pretty warm now. Mm-hmm. So I can withstand November. But December, no. Jess, I'll say this. If, when the schedule comes out, if if the Jets play the Giants sometime early next, in the beginning of the year, we'll talk about it. It's going to be prime but time. You, so wait, you don't plan on going to the games? Hey, First of hey, all, hey, hey, hey. Or but, just one game? But here's You're not going to have any intention to try to make it to one game? I have PTSD of going to Jet Games. You know the two Jet Games I've been you to? You lost oh, both times? No, lost both times. We we were down 23 to nothing. No, we were up 
No, we were 14 to 13. We played the Buffalo Bills. This was 20, 2013, I want to say. We were third row on the field, corner of the end zone. We got blown out 49 to 14 in the third quarter. It was cold. It was miserable. The second game I went to, 2016, you know who the quarterback was? Oh, was it uh, Bryce Petty? The Bryce Petty game. <laughs> Where it was 12-6, to 6 and the Rams kicked four field I say goals. The, re- the reason why I'm pushing for us to go this season is because it is Aaron Rodgers. He may not be here next year. It's We can watch greatness now. Like, we finally, like, we can. Well, when we come back, we will continue to talk about greatness and potential greatness with NFL Draft coming up. It's tonight, guys. So when we come back, we will see all of you in listening. What? And y'all will hear us. What am I saying? Just let's, what? What? Let's what? get let's get to the music. Let's go. And hello, everybody. We are back. We are we're back. back from the darkness. We're we're back from the darkness of audio, which is you don't hear our voices and it's just music. But we're gonna talk about the NFL draft because it's it's that time of year again where we all get excited about potential prospects, potential goats, potential greats. Jessica, you have a question? Yes. Well, it's it's like a promo almost. So, you know, all the draft specials are really cool, but the person who has the best draft special is the if Pat you, McAfee if you say, show. They knew know? all the how picks. Know, they knew how all the picks before they were announced on ESPN. I how watched I it know? last year. How did I know? Listen, last year he how was announcing the picks literally a whole minute before Roger Goodell got out. So he's got the inside scoop. I knew it. I knew he knows it first. Guys, said? if you want a funny draft special and not just watch – you know, the humdrum of the regular NFL analysts who do a great job. I'm saying, have a good time and watch Dude, Pat once she show. said promo, I'm like, this is a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't with you, bro. The, the one thing I like is the guy who does the Mel Kuy- uh, Kuiper impersonation. Oh, and he's going to be on it today. Ty and they're going to have Jay Glazer, the Jay Glazer impression. Oh, they're going to have it all. <laughs> Here's the problem. Well, Mel Kuy- well, 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 Pat, you, you know. just like him. Well, Pat, uh, you know. Oh, no, he, Ty is actually sick, I think, so he may not even be there. You know he's going to. You know that's a, that's a smoke screen. He it's couldn't good. he couldn't handle the Rogers talk the other day because he wasn't in studio because they said he had like food poisoning or something like that. I honestly feel like you know maybe food he just couldn't. Day. He was listening. You know he was he couldn't listening. take the Roger talk. You know. Yeah. He's, he's like and he's gonna be depressed for a while. He was listening to his like his this his sad boy music, <laughs> just sitting in the shower, just like contemplating everything about life again, and you know. You know, that's that's just what happens when like the greats leave a team for so long, you know. Yeah, but oh well. But let's talk about some greats, potential greats joining our favorite team. So the Jets have the fifteenth overall pick. The Giants have, I believe, the twenty fifth overall pick. Mid late round picks in the first round. Still first round though. We're great. We're not obviously gonna get the top players in the draft. We're gonna get guys who we need. Right? Going to get guys who are going to try to be able to produce right away. Key guys who can step in on a play's notice and get the job done. Now, Jessica, have you been keeping up with the draft? No, you have not. Yeah. Oh, have you? Yeah, for the most part. Really? Really? That, that shocked me. I don't remember a lot of names. <laughs> she remembers faces, not names. You remember yeah, faces. faces. You remember, you remember Jalen Hurts. He's not a draft prospect. I know, I know. But <laughs> C.J. Stroud. Not a Aaron Rodgers, not a C. draft prospect. C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young. I mean, those two I'm actually looking for because I don't know where they're going to be placed. They're interesting. Who's going to go number one? They've been like <laughs> flip-flopping back and forth on who's supposed to be it's, going it's, number one, who's number two. It's either one of them. But if Will, They kind of confuse me. They kind of look just like each other. No. 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 Sometimes I get confused on which one's what? which. What? They Sorry. don't look anything like each other. They all they both have mine sometimes. One is taller and bigger and has different hair. Like Listen, a lot of times I'm watching them sitting down talking. So I'm just seeing from here up. They look ex- <laughs> they don't look anything alike. I'm just alike. saying sometimes. Now and then I'm like, "Oh, that's who that is. Oh, that's who. it's not, you know, they just Oh, I can make a joke. They're right both now. like <laughs> Definitely light skin. <laughs> was that a threat? I can make a joke. I can make not. a joke. Right I can now. make a joke right now, but I'm not gonna do it. But why not make the joke? No, but those, but those. Is it profane? No, but those quarterbacks, they're probably. It's either if they either go one or two, like they're both gonna be in terrible situations, right? Like oh, to yeah. start, like Carolina. Whoa. Well, the conundrum of six and tens, right? Like who cares, right? And then you got Houston. Ugh. A dumpster fire of just full of trying to get players. Well, I heard good. Ohio quarterbacks don't do well in the NFL. Ohio State. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, so what is that? I mean, Alabama quarterback still got a great, better. great I mean, track record. No, but you can name one Alabama great quarterback, Jalen Hurts. But then again, he's Oklahoma. Sooners up. I don't know how to do Sooners, but Sooners up. Woo-woo. He's a, he's a Sooner. He's not an Alabama quarterback no more. He cut off his dreads and went to Oklahoma. And he said, "Yeah, it's, it's, it's demon time." You know what I'm saying? That that's the whole thing. But even then, like both of those QBs, they're gonna be fun to watch. It's gonna be fun to see them like progress and like try to figure out the NFL and like figure out NFL defenses. Obviously, there's gonna have growing pains, but who knows? Maybe they can have a very like even though the team isn't good and like their record sucks because let's face it, the Texans aren't winning more than three games this year, maybe four at a stretch. I keep forgetting they're they're around. I keep forgetting <laughs> the Texans are. I and I said that before. Like I keep every time they're mentioned, I'm like, oh yeah, oh wow, oh, yeah, the, that's even Houston. Oh wow, oh wow, that team in Houston that people actually sometimes go to watch. <laughs> Stadium looks nice. That's it. Yeah, but they're not very relevant at all. Yeah, but Jessica and Daniel, you guys are Jets fans through and through, the thick and thin. I want to ask you, who do you think you guys are going to be able to take? At Daniel 50? has to answer that. Um, you can give me position or player. It, it depends on which. I want. think if if they're available, available, because I firmly believe this. I think this team needs more defensive depth. I think as much as the old line scares me, I think we'll be okay. So if he's there, if the kid at the cornerback, not 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 the not, not Christian Gonzalez, Christian Gonzalez. If Christian Gonzalez can fall, because it's possible, right? It's it's, it's a plus, but he's the best corner in the draft. He's the second best corner in the draft. All right. Well, I, I think on draft wise. boards they have him as the second best corner in the draft. It, it's it, you can you know you can flip flop that. So either if he's there, if he's there, I would take a cornerback mm-hmm. to pair with Gardner and have that defense that D back depth because mm-hmm. that's desperately needed on this team. If not, you have to go with best player available. Mm-hmm. So whether that's a wide receiver still on the board who fell for some reason, or you go offensive line, mm-hmm. right? You go tackle, yeah, right? Because let's face it, we don't have a tackle. True. It's Makai Becton who can't stay healthy. Max Mitchell or uh, Max Mitchell? Who? Who? Do you know who Max Mitchell is? Absolutely not. Nobody knows this guy, <laughs> right? So you take a tackle. I mean, I guess there's, there's a kid. Out of we Georgia. don't need to know him. Can you play? There's a kid out of Georgia who's in? good. Yeah, who is projected to go there? Some guys out of Ohio State Wait, that are pretty the George, good. As well. Is the Georgia quarterback coming to the draft? Stetson, Stetson Bennett? Bennett. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be late. Oh, oh, Stetson Bennett the fourth. No one's gonna. No, I haven't heard. He's not gonna go in the no first one? round. Oh, absolutely not. He's not gonna go in the first. No, round. he's like thirty years old. He's not thirty. Oh, years old, that's right. That's right. Because he is he's not a young. He's, he's twenty-five. He's, and like twenty-six. Okay. Yeah. But also, he's so like. So wait, that's the only reason why he's gonna go to the second because he's age. No, it's because like. Nice play. Didn't he just get he's like? Okay. Didn't he just win two college back to back? That doesn't mean you're. That doesn't mean you're a good quarterback. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're a well, good quarterback. So you're in the best system. That doesn't mean you're a good quarterback. What makes you a good college quarterback? What makes you a good college? Uh, touchdowns. Accuracy. Having the best team in the league, um, or the conference. The SEC. Yeah, the, the SEC is the best conference. That's what the Alabama. Tennessee, not Ohio State. They're the ACC. No, they're Big Ten. They're Big Ten. I I really don't know college like that. I'm gonna keep this stuck. You know what Colin Cowherd says? What, or what he said one what time. What did this dwarf say? It's not a dwarf. Sometimes I don't agree with his antics, but or his takes, but I do agree with this one. He's once said that <coughs> SEC players they're for Saturday. They don't really last for Sunday. So SEC players, they're great. They dominate college football, but they don't transition well to the NFL. Why do you think that is? He pretty much explained that, you know, it's just a lot of it has to do with culture and how college football is played and that, you know, other conferences, the Big Ten, uh, the Big 12, they are they develop their players a bit differently. I mean, so they last longer or, or more of them go to the NFL and last longer. I mean, I don't know if that's actually true, true, but. I thought it was interesting. I mean, only like a like a very small percentage of players even go to the NFL and like stay there and like don't retire in three years. So I mean, LS- it's a mixed bag, but LS- he knows more than yeah. I, so I trusted his opinion. LSU's in the SEC, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, Joe Burrow's doing all right. Yeah. Jamar Chase so. doing okay. Yeah. Josh Jefferson's doing all right. I'd say so. Devin White's doing okay. He's good. Yeah. They're quality players. You can find them. Patrick Queen. 
like, ah, ah well, you know, dad, you know. You know, he could tackle. The kid could tackle. You know, that's all he hey, could do. you got to tackle. Hey, you got to tackle, but you also got to be able to cover. Okay, listen, you can't do that. But now I'm a Giants fan, and uh, we've been mocked some pretty boring guys, like a center, a guard. You know, tackles are pretty premier, premier position. Um, but I think... <sighs> You want to get sexy with it? Uh, I, I I potentially could get sexy with it because if Bijan Robinson drops, no shot. It's it's. No shot. But if but if he does drop, no shot. I think they might pull the trigger. They can't trade up to get him. Here's the. They could. They no. They would not. They could. They have the picks. If they don't value Saquon Barkley, why would they value picking a guy all the way up there? Maybe they want to. Maybe they want to find Barkley's replacement. No. Mm. No, absolutely not. Get Jamar Gibbs then, if you're going to do that, because Jamar Gibbs might go in the second round. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you could find, like right, like what you said, the running backs, dime a dozen. You can go outside and look in the trash can. Oh, there's one guy. Oh, he has a thousand yards. The now. trash can. Like, like you, like you could find all these guys, right? I think wide receiver has to be in there. Jo- if Jordan Addison falls, I could see them doing that. Probably O line. I think our O line is still like mid. Like the tackle positions are set for cornerstones. But the interior of our line is just, like, not great. I could see them drafting a corner because we need corners who aren't 5'6". Our corners are all 5'6". Adoree Jackson is how tall? 5'3". Darnay Holmes is in the boundary. I don't think you can survive if you were 5'3 in the NFL. Are there short people like that? If you're, like like, a return man, like a returner, like a guy who, like, just returns punts. That's for, you could yeah you like like five seven, Braxton Berrios. How tall is he? Five two. Five eight. Five two. <laughs> Relax. Five, he's five two. <laughs> the way he plays, he plays five two because he's well, a bowling well, ball. Well, what's there. one thing with the NFL? One trick ponies survive. Absolutely. You could be a long slapper, snapper for twenty years and get paid millions. Absolutely. And all you gotta do is snap a ball. Yep. That's it. One trick ponies survive. Yep. Like Devin. Jack Hester. of all trades, master of none. Like Devin Hester, he wasn't the best receiver, but like. You put him on kickoff. Oh, we're getting touchdowns. So that's why he was able to stay in the league for long. You know what I'm saying? If you can master your one skill, you potentially could have a 10-year career in the NFL. 10 years. Like, but uh, I'm so sad because, like, Barkley just doesn't want to sign the franchise tag. And I feel like we're going to take a running back in, like, the later rounds, and second and third round, and then we're going to be like, is this Barkley's replacement? And it probably is <laughs> going to be Barkley's replacement, and then I'm going to be sad. So then where is he going to go if he doesn't sign the franchise tag? Nowhere. He's just not going to play? Who wants him? Somebody take him. Who? Somebody. You know somebody If he well. had a great last se- uh, No, because he's been injured before, I get it. But it's, I feel like... Somebody would take him. Yeah, there's no way that... He Pittsburgh? hasn't fallen off that bad. Like Pittsburgh? No, they have Najee Harris. Back up? No. No, they're not no, they're not doing that. Arizona? Arizona. A, a, I don't think it'll be a contending team. I think it'll be like a mid level team. Or a team that's maybe like maybe Las Vegas. Oh no, they have Josh Jacobs. Yeah, but Josh Jacobs don't even want to be there. That's true. So then what is you you think Barkley wanna be there if Josh Jacobs don't want to be there? Absolutely. Maybe the trade doesn't have a choice. That is true. But like, I don't know, man. I d I just don't He seems depressed. Doesn't he seem so hurt? You okay? I, you know, it's Barkley, man. You know, I, I love the guy. You know, he's a great guy. Good looking guy, too. Good looking cat. You know what I'm saying? Got some pocket fillers. If he signs the franchise tag, you get $10 million. But he's he's worth more than that. Well, to him, he is. You could do, get it next year. Have they, they don't want to give it to him this year. They're going to give it to him next year? Have If you have 15, if you have over 1,100 yards and 10 touchdowns, you're going to get your money. You'll get your money. You'll get your money. <clears throat> Let's be honest. You'll get your money. Right? Right, right. Like you, if you play good, you get money. But if they don't value you, you won't get your money either. He'll probably get more than ten, like in a long term. Like contract. twelve. Twelve and 13. a half, thirteen. I think they can give him thirteen. Yeah, but he doesn't want that because you know he yeah. wants to be paid like Christian McCaffrey. But and that's like, the problem. But also, hurts. but also, when who gave Christian McCaffrey that contract? Forty Nine ers or Carolina? Forty Nine ers. Forty Nine ers. We're banking. Actually, on, no. I'm sorry. It was Carolina. I'm sorry. Yeah, the Carolina, Carolina Panthers were banking on Christian McCaffrey not getting hurt. He keeps getting hurt. 
the one season he had, like the half season he had with San Francisco, he didn't get hurt, but he played great. But when he's not hurt, he plays great. But when he's not hurt, he plays great. He's but then sens- again, he's sensational. But then again, he can get hurt. That's the thing, Daniel. If he, I gets mean, hurt, they all can get hurt at that point. They all can, and it's a running back. Like they don't, they don't value them, man. It's sad. You, you seem so sad. But they're it's the workhorses. Sad, they should value them at least a little bit. More. I know they should, but you know what we should value? Side talk, baby, because the Knicks is up, baby. Let's go. Ding dong, whatever. Bing bong. We're, sh- <laughs> we're shooting. Bing, we're shooting half court yeah. shots in the middle of the parkway. Yo. You feel me? What's good? All right, we playing back. We playing pickup when cars passing by. What's up? Because guess what, Daniel? What happened yesterday? The Knicks won. The next Ooh, one. Ge- next a one. nice gentleman sweep. Nice gentleman sweep. It was a gentleman sweep. Glad to see you. Glad to see you, Knicks, uh, in the playoffs. I, I, I want to give succeeding. A, uh, I want to give a quick congrats to Mitchell Robinson and Isaiah Hardenstein on on the adoption of their new sons, Jared Allen and Jared <laughs> Allen Hair, because he took that. They took that kid to school. Uh huh. So the dads are happy to have their son Jared Allen and Jared Allen's hair. Yes. Congratulations, Mitchell Robinson. Oh yes. Because they. Dominated the boards. The Villanova connection once again. It's living. Wait, on. so who are they playing now in the second round? The Miami Heat. The culture. Oh. Because and last night it was crazy. Because the Heat beat the Bucks. They 4-1. sure did. How did Jimmy Butler get that in? He he wanted it more. He was ready. Jessica. He was going to do whatever Jessica. it takes. He was he was parallel to the ground. He was posing. <laughs> man was posing like he was doing like he was doing the um it's his time yeah like he was doing the um like the naked the naked issue of like how they always pose but they're trying to cover their their junk how they always do that i don't think so, they have that issue anymore he was posing like that why not i don't think espn magazine is still around I'll yeah of course it is i think it's ESPN magazine the printed no they were the ones that did the naked edition no, that was sports illustrated you sure yeah yeah it was one of them one of the sports whatever but okay. the knicks you guys have a chance to go to the East Coast Finals. Okay, relax. You guys have the no. Well, that's chance. right. You got the peak. Look, he's got. I got. I got. I got the. You guys could beat the Heat. You could beat the mm. Heat. We struggled against the Heat in the regular season. This is playoffs. Yeah. But when we had our regular team, we still struggled against them. This is playoffs now. Okay? There's a different juice. They're even better in the playoffs. This, the, this is what I predicted when they get to the playoffs. They're they're a better team. This is what I said. If you hold, him, I would have rather played the Bucks than play the Heat. What? That's a crazy take. That How's is... that crazy take? That's a crazy I feel take. like we had a better chance to get the against the that, Bucks than the Heat. That's a wild take. I mean, I mean, Hemi Butler. I mean, you don't want to face Hemi Butler. You don't. You don't, because Hemi Butler turns into one of the greatest players and, of all and, time. And, uh, Julius Randle <laughs> can't buy a bucket in the playoffs, so now we have to deal with his liability and his bum ankle. But here's the thing, Josh Hart, Jalen Brunson. Who's gonna guard him on the Heat? Who's gonna guard him? Who? Who? Name me. Who? Who's gonna guard him on the Heat? Nobody, no. I think Jalen Brunson is gonna gonna probably drop forty a couple times in this series. It's probably gonna go six or seven. Let's be honest. And if you guys can control the boards, I think Mitchell Robinson and Isaiah Hartenstein are gonna. Yeah, be able but Bam Adebayo is not Jared Allen. Jared Allen's hair. Bam Adebayo is a better player. But I, I and he think, was cooking. He, I think the Knicks may surprise you. I think the Knicks are riding high right now. Yeah. Hey, you know that New York fuel, baby. Come on, believe in the team. Believe in the team. Believe, believe in the, in the team. team. Believe in the team. Hey, man, I think the Don Knicks Daniel have a great Daniel wants shot. to cry. He almost wants to cry. I'm, I'm, He's ter- like, I'm, ter- I'm terrified. He's terrified. I'm, I'm terrified you know what? for what's Daniel coming and what's happening so tonight. Much, he only has so much hope to give. He's got enough hope for the Jets. I know, right? <laughs> he's got nothing left to give yeah. to the Knicks. Look, he's he's leaning up against the wall. <laughs> he's so distraught. You don't like 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 I I have Nick PTSD. I have the Rangers probably losing tonight because mm. this is a game seven. If they lose, that's they're done. And right? they've been. I, ha- I have the Jets being miserable for 15 years. For every year I've been alive, I've just been miserable. I have the Mets sucking. Going to get swept by the Nationals today. What, what do I have? What, what do I have in positive going for other than Aaron Rodgers? That's it. Everything no, else you're, 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 you got a bad perspective. Man, what do you mean? Man. You have Aaron Rodgers and you are now in round two. Yes. With with not and it's with been, the and you guys had, and we've had a drought in the Knicks, right, for the playoffs appearance. They've mm-hmm. had their drought, so... They've quinched it, so but when they get hold clo- on to but it. But when they get closer, I get more into it, and then I get more upset when something bad happens. Listen, listen. But if look, they were out of the first if you round, give it your all. Daniel, Daniel, it's part of let's just because I wasn't expecting this Nick team to be this good. Let's be honest, okay? I so take expect- that as a good surprise. If, if if they beat the Heat, oh, oh my God, yeah. this is yeah, oh my God. You know what this is? This is your Atlanta Hawks year. You know, remember when the Atlanta Hawks made it to the Easter okay, Conference Finals? This is your Atlanta He's Hawks like, oh year. My God. 
Okay, you guys are gonna make it to the East Conference Finals. I wish we had. This is why Kalen wants you to be do, on camera. Do you think? Because do I you wish think, you guys can see Daniel. Do you think that you could play Boston well? Yes. Do you think that you could play Philly well? No. So you're hoping for Boston. Yeah. If if you make it past the Heat, you're hoping for Boston. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I, we're gonna get Phyllis and Cookus. Hundred percent. Absolutely. Hundred percent. And Josh Hart's gonna make it tough on Tatum. Gonna make it tough. But we played Boston well too. That's the thing. You did. And like Boston to me hasn't like I mean Trey Young's doing what he's doing to them. And that's a classic rivalry as well. And like Knicks 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 Celtics? I mean, come on. Can't hate it. You guys see, this is the thing now. You see the path. You see the path to the finals, right? Yeah. And now I'm getting excited, I'm getting my hopes up. And then when we collapse eventually, it's gonna hurt even more. Game one's gonna be a big dictator for the series, I think. I think so. I think it is. If if the Knicks if the Knicks, we talked about this before. We gotta be on. Discord you guys have home court. Game. You guys have home court. Jessica. Games one and two. You guys have home if court. If the Knicks win this series and go to the Eastern Conference Final, New York's getting shut down. The, the city <laughs> is getting shut down. All the of rats course. are gonna go, come out and party. <laughs> All the rats gonna come out and play. Like the rats are gonna be sh- shooting hoops. Well, now we have a rat czar, so we don't know. The rats may not be able to join. They obviously you know they pulling up. You, you have to up, understand, right? like. When the Rangers, this didn't happen with the Rangers when they won their run last year. This didn't happen with uh, the Giants when they were in the playoffs. New York shuts down for the Knicks. Oh, yeah, they do. Right? Yeah, they Knicks do. Fans well, show originally, up. I mean, besides the Yankees, it's a basketball town. Yeah. It, it is. A big it, is a, it is a basketball town. The Bronx don't even care about baseball. Like, all the Dominicans out there in the Bronx, they don't care. They're like, oh, I go to play. No, I, I go big league myself. You know, I don't watch <laughs> I go big league myself, you know. And as a Puerto Rican, you can say that you can make fun of Dominicans like that. Yeah, I love them. Love them. Shout what? They're Dominican. all they're all on the Yankees. I have to love them. Right? <laughs> I love I love Oswaldo Peraza. Wait, how's Oswald your Yankee Peraza. watching going? Oh, I watch every game. Listen Shout every game. Yeah, we smoked the Twins yesterday. You almost got swept by the Twins too. Keep it on that. Look, we Keep suck. You suck. It's fair. Yeah, the Knicks and not the the Yankees and Mets are. Uh, Kids go more than two runs. And, nope. And, and then we always have that one game where we just go off. And then the next game, we score no runs. And then the pitching gives up eight. Well, what do you think it is? We're just not consistency. You know, coming in there every day and being consistent and trying to hit the ball, not just trying to hit home runs all the time, right? Like, or DJ LeMay, who's our best hitter, you didn't pay Aaron Judge to not be your best hitter. According well, to ESPN, the Panthers were very intrigued with former Florida quarterback Anthony Richardson after making strong impression oh, in pre-draft stop, interviews. Oh, look, Samuel, someone else stop, wants Anthony stop, Richardson. Stop, stop. But that's Anthony Richardson going first overall. Oh, no. What? Panthers oh. have first pick. Panthers so he, got first he pick. He would go first overall. Oh, no. What a slap Over Bryce Young. That's crazy. Over Bryce Young. It, it's a smoke screen. So there has to be. It, yo, it's a you, smoke screen. It's a smoke screen. You, you sure? But, 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 sure? Just, but just in I case. I feel like the NFL has to come up with, like, this I guess they can't. I guess it's your prerogative as a team, but I feel like you have to honor the best of the best first. Dude, the first like 10 they have picks, to get drafted first before this guy comes in. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the first ten picks are gonna be insane of this draft. I believe it. Oh my gosh! Like the first four picks, what do the Cardinals do? Do they stick and pick, or do they trade down and then ten? Maybe Tennessee moves I'm, up. I'm, that's what I'm hearing. That Tennessee is getting ready to trade that three pick. And then, and then they'll take Will Levis over, and they'll, they'll screw the Colts out of getting Will Levis. But then, but then potentially, Colts get Anthony Richardson. Get a guy who projects well. Or CJ. Or CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud. Oh, my gosh. Yo, this is crazy. I love you. This, this is nice. This are you going to have a watch? Are you going to have a Discord thing going? Are you going to watch the draft? Should I? You should. I'm not going to be a part of it. Why? Because I have the Rangers at 7 o'clock trying to win a freaking game. I have oh. the Yankees at 7 o'clock as well. I, I watch it on my television, the draft. It's on ESPN, right? Yeah. yeah. ESPN, FN Network, ABC, all yeah, you that. you can watch it everywhere. All that good stuff. Yeah, so. yeah I'm going to watch it at home, and I'm saying you should have a watch party on Discord. I'm going to be losing my mind over the Rangers he's for not, an hour. You he's can not, switch between I, that, Daniel. Yes, you can. I, I, I am. When, when, we, when we get to the end of the period, I'm going to go to the draft. But for the time that the Rangers are playing, I am locked in yelling at my TV. He doesn't have the mental capacity for the all split. of this. The sports mental capacity. There's only one. It's overloading right it's now. Overloading. The minute the Jets pick, if the Jets get picked before the Rangers are finished, I'm going to bed. Oh, yeah. I'm going to bed. If the Rangers lose, I'm out. 
I don't care where the Jets pick. I don't get they trade it up. All right. I don't get they trade it back into the first round. If the Rangers lose tonight, I'm out. All right. You're gonna watch the pick. No, I'm not. I'm not. You're I'm gonna, not. You're gonna look at. You're gonna wake up an hour an hour later and then look at your phone and be like, oh, Yeah, right. <laughs> you're gonna go. You're gonna get up. Oh, I drank a lot of water. Oh, let's let me let me go use the bathroom real quick. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, would you look at that? We took a tackle. Oh, I shut my phone up before I go to bed. Why? Look at this you're guy. better than we are. Yeah, Yo, you're you're way better than me. <laughs> Why are you turning your phone off? I mean, he's battery. Because he's a responsible human battery. being and he doesn't need to look at his phone at night. I thought it was. But don't you have? Like don't you need your alarm? I have an alarm clock. Rangers, God. Rangers are winning four to Why three. Are That's you what Sean, don't do this to me, dude. Sean, do, Sean, Sean do please this. don't do this to don't me. Don't do this to him. Don't do this. This to is him. game seven tonight. But what do you know, mean? That's what you need. Rangers are going to win. But you know what we will do, guys, what? ladies and gentlemen. What? We will sign off from the airwaves of WBCR. I am your host, Louis Fletcher. Uh, or sorry, Louis Rogers. Excuse me. We have Jessica Rogers, Jessica Rogers. Daniel Rogers. I'm just Miad, missing the D. Miad Rogers. Ha, ha, ha. So we will see you all back next week for Tuesday. Mm-hmm.